Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I thought for this video we would check out the latest Harbor Freight coupons. Not only do they have 96 new coupons they just put out that are good through July 31st, but they also have Dollar Days coupons. Now these are a little bit more specialty, which is why I want to do a video on them and talk about them a little bit, because you can get some really good deals on some cheap stuff. They're not all really good deals though. Some are kind of crap. So we got to go through them so I can point out the crap to you so you don't accidentally buy the crap. Because you can get it cheaper elsewhere and why should you overpay? So the link is down below if you are interested in anything that you see here if you need the coupons. We're not going to talk about every item but let's talk about this gas powered earth auger. I would love to own one of these. The only auging I've ever done is with the post hole digger with my back and shoulders screaming at me. So, I don't know if I would use it enough to be worth $200, but as I get older, it sure looks more appealing. 20-year-old me would have dug that damn hole myself. 36-year-old me says, you know what, that auger looks mighty tempting. It's a sexy auger right there. <laughs> also, we got the winch here. Now, just recently we posted... Uh, Northern Tool Deal, because they have several of their winches. Not winches, that's something different. That's going back to the auger sexy thing. <laughs> uh, Northern Tool has a bunch of them on clearance. So be sure to check that out. If you go to the top of the page here, we have Deals by Store, and you go to Northern Tool here, you'll see it within the last five or six posts or something. It even had a promo code at the time. I don't know if the promo code's still valid. But um, a good deal on some different winches if you are in the market. We also just on the Tech Deals page posted a TV wall mount that was much cheaper than $39.99 you may be interested in. Foldable shop crane has shot up in price. You can say that for about 95 of the 96 items here, so I'm going to try to avoid that because otherwise the video would only be pointing out that this light used to be $19.99 and I bought this shipper shredder for $349.99 and these drill bits used to be $9.99. So I'm not going to point out any of that stuff. I'm going to avoid it as much as I can. Now this light actually is a fairly good light. It's got a nice strong magnet. It's a bright light. Uh, the battery they used for it completely sucks. It's an 18650. You're going to want to get a better one. I think the one I have in it is a 3500 milliamp hour. And the one that comes with it, unless they've changed it since I bought it, uh, was a 1500. So you can imagine anyone who tells you, oh, the battery life on it's fine. It lasts all day. Bullshit. They haven't used it enough. They're lying. That shit's just sitting tacked to the side of their toolbox and they don't use it because they think it has a good battery. I'm telling you, I've used it a lot. The battery it comes with is shit. You have to upgrade the battery. Anyway, chipper shredder, really good. Now this top hopper I have found to be total bullshit. It doesn't work for nothing. I don't know what you would put in there. I guess you're supposed to put leaves, but no, it doesn't work. This one, though, anything that fits in that hole, it will eat. Eat for lunch. And you got to hold on, too, because it'll rip it right out of your hands, which I guess is better than the alternative of staying connected to it and it chopping your hand off. Now, the other thing is I have a willow tree. You don't put willow tree branches in there. Mm -mm. Those willow tree whips get all tangled up in here. Then you got to take it apart and unwind it, which sucks. Also, it comes with a little bag to catch all the, the clippings. If you're going to use the bag, it sucks. It rips right open. Mine just spews everywhere. But the machine itself works pretty good. We got the Bauer Random Orbit Sander, 1999. A pretty good deal for the sander. All their solar stuff, overpriced. I wouldn't buy any of it. Just posted a solar panel yesterday. It was 100 watts, and I think it was $50 after promo code. But that was actually a really good deal. Um, it might still be on the homepage. It might not be. I don't know. Uh, these used to be $19.99. This is one item. This is the one of the 96 that hasn't gone up in price. The Flamer welding helmet at $39.99. We do have several winches in this email, so there's another winch for us. The wheel chuck. It used to be $4.99 or $3.99. But we're not going to talk about that. One thing we are going to talk about is this roller seat here. That's the recalled one. Is it not the recalled one? I swear to you, that is the damn recalled one. Why are they putting coupons out for the recalled one? Am I missing something? Is that not recalled? 90% sure that's recalled. Oop. What are we doing putting coupons on for? Why are we wasting people's time? This is dumb. Oh, 
Wow, look at this Merlin. Pistol grip inflator with digital gauge, $59.99. I could find you those on Amazon, 20 bucks all day. 20 bucks. We don't got to spend 60 Whew. They really get you guys on stuff, especially the LED lights things, too. Man, do they overprice them LED lights. Okay, we're getting into some of the dollar day stuff. First crap item, the socket rail. I wouldn't take it or use it anyway, even if you paid me a dollar. There are definitely better options available. If you want some quality socket rails, go with the Ulsa Tools Aluminum Socket Rails. Look that up on Amazon. Those are really good. Those are quality. They're more than a dollar, I'll tell you that. Definitely more than a dollar. But they're going to last, and they're good. Okay, we got the spring clamp for a buck, which, okay, that's fine. We got the bar clamp for a buck. It's only four inch, but good. The cable ties, you're getting a whole hundred of them for a dollar. I just used a couple of these the other day. I had to do a very temporary, quick, I moved a birdhouse because it was in the way of my new driveway and they needed it out of the way and it was on a four by four post well, i didn't have time i mean there's birds living in it and you know you got to protect the birds don't be a dick and just kill the birds so i had to tie wrap it to another post just to hold it upright for now which by the way despite the 30 foot move birds still flying in and out Pfft, save the birds i know hell of a guy led flashlight look the flashlight kind of sucks uh, it's the better LED in this thing. You can't tell from the picture, but it's not the old dome style. It's like a cob LED or whatever they call it. Um, but for a dollar, you can't expect the world. And it's good for a dollar. But if it was five dollars, I'd say piss off. We got better options. But for one, okay. For one dollar, we got it. Very odd here. A number two Phillips, four inch for a buck. Remember we used to get the free screwdrivers and that was like a five pack or a seven pack or something. I'm not convinced this is actually better than those and yet it's a dollar all by itself. Kind of weird. The detail brush set for a dollar. Okay, that's fine. Again, this used to be free and it was a six pack. You used to get two of each of the different, like one's nylon, one's brass, one's steel. I believe those are the three that you have. Um, they're decent brushes. They're nice that they're cheap and you just throw them away when you've junked them all up, but it used to be a six pack for free. The micro spring clamps, six for a dollar. Okay, fine. You got me. I'll spend a buck on it. Two dollars on the flap disc is okay. Uh, the gloves are, yeah, I don't care about gloves. We have the magnetic bar here. Actually at three dollars, that's not awful, but again, it was free. And when it was free, I got like 35 of them. So I won't need to buy this. And I hope when they were free, you did the same. Because they're actually really handy to have. I have one two feet to the left of me with a bunch of stuff slapped to it right now. So I guess for three dollars, they ain't going to be free again. Don't be holding your breath on that. Uh, again, another free item, the 25 foot tape measure. I hate their batteries. I would never buy their batteries. We're not going to buy the batteries. This light, okay, I bought it when it first came out. $5 is like right on the edge of what it's worth. The magnets in the bottom here are too weak because it pivots here. You see that it's a joint right here, so you can pivot it. So you can slap it on something and then angle where you want the light. The magnets are weaker than the pivot, so to pivot it, you need to use two hands, which to me is annoying. If I'm in the middle of working on something, I need to be able to move that light and pivot it without getting my other hand up there and holding the base in place because the magnets aren't strong enough to hold it in place while I pivot it. Okay, and it's not incredibly bright. It's 175 lumen. So it's, like I said, $5 is borderline what it's worth. This is really good. The automatic battery float charger. I have two of these. They're probably 10 years old. I think I paid like $5.99 or $4.99 maybe. And I use them every winter. I got the Caprice, the Corvette, the Mustang. They all need battery chargers on them in the winter. Two of my three are this one exactly, and they've worked forever. It's super thin, cheap wire, you'd think, but there's not much going through it. You, the, I'm shocked I haven't broken them right here because it's really thin wire. But, hey, it's worked. Credit where credit is due. Be a little gentle with them. They're not going to hold up to abuse, but good. Uh, we just posted a, de a better deal for cutoff wheels. Uh, a 25-pack or a 50-pack was better than this. We don't got to worry about that. 
tool bag. Eh, I don't care. Not bad for the rotary tool. You're getting 80 pieces to go with it. Eh. These lights suck. $9 for those? No. Look, there's like 10 LEDs in the thing. It's only 115 lumens. All day long, we get brighter ones for cheaper. For this style of light, you're looking at about $4, $5 on the high side. High side $5. They're double with their coupon price. So we don't want those. And then we get out of the dollar day back to regular coupons. A lot of air compressors we're wrapping it up with. All right, guys. That's my thoughts on the dollar day coupons. I will leave that link down below if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Give the video a like, subscribe for a new subscriber. I'll see you next time.